Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that has been very highly requested by so many of you, because as those of you who are regulars either here to my YouTube or my Instagram will know, I am obsessed with Veja trainers. I have nine pairs now in total and I have six different styles. Now that isn't all of the styles, but it's quite a few. So I'm hoping that kind of by doing a comparison slash mini review of each of the styles that I have and that I've worn, I can kind of help you guys gauge which style is best for you to buy. Now, before I get started, I just wanna give you a little bit of information on Veja as a company. So they've been doing training is now since 2005 so I wouldn't have said that they're a particularly new new brand but they're also not like a traditional brand either they are Parisian based and they were mainly online however Vasia stockists are growing day by day. You can get them in all kinds of external vendors. net a Arquette, for you guys over in the US, Nordstrom, I mean, there's probably a few more as well. Office, for those of us over here in the UK, there are so many different external vendors that now stock Vasia, so it's not difficult to get your hands on a pair. But they also have, obviously, their own website, and they have just opened their first full Vasia store over in Paris and that was a few weeks ago so next time me and Simon are in Paris I am absolutely gonna make my way down to the store now I think one of the main selling points or probably the main selling point of Vasia is that they are a truly sustainable brand they're not one of these brands that likes to greenwash us to death they are genuinely sustainable and in my opinion they're the best at what they do Hence why I now have nine pairs. Now, some might argue that having nine pairs of sustainable trainers probably isn't the most sustainable thing in the world. And you know what? I'd have to agree with you. It's totally right. However, I do see myself as a little bit of a product tester. And hopefully by making these kind of videos, I can help a wider range of people make a more informed decision as to which ones they're gonna buy. So I'm not gonna touch on all of the sustainable points about Vasia because they've got an amazing section on their website and it's called Project and if you head over to there you can actually listen to their story from the founders and there is so much information incredibly transparent you can see contracts that they have with their rubber I want to call them farmers I don't know if that's the correct technical name but they're basically the people who own the land where the rubber trees are in the Amazon rainforest and speaking of their rubber, this is just one of the points that I personally find really impressive. So as you'll see throughout the video, a lot of the styles do have like a chunky rubber sole. And these are made from natural and wild grown rubber, which, as I just said, comes from the Amazon rainforest. Now, some people might not think that farming rubber, again, not sure if that's the technical term, but getting rubber from the rainforest is that sustainable. However, it is. So for all of the rubber that Vasia buys from the rainforest, that actually goes to preserving and protecting 120,000 hectares of that Amazon rainforest. But as I said, head over to the Vasia website, have a look at that project section because all of their sustainable information is on there and it's it's really impressive. And it just makes for an interesting read slash a little listen if you wanna listen to the founder story as well. Right, so now I'm gonna get stuck in to my Vasia collection. And I'm gonna start off with this style, which are the V10s. And I would say this is probably the style that Vasia are most known for. And I'd be tempted to say it's their probably most popular style. I don't have statistics to prove that, but just judging from all of the Vasias that I've seen out there on the streets around the world, these ones are the ones that I tend to see the most. And I think these are the OGs as well. So as I just said, these are called the V10s. I have the leather option. However, they are also available in a vegan option. It's not vegan leather because it's not faux leather because as we all know, faux leather is incredible incredibly bad in terms of production and damage caused on the environment during the production process. The vegan option are actually made from organic cotton, which is coated in PU and resin from the corn waste industry. Now there aren't as many colorways in the vegan option, but you will get a lot of the classics. However, in the leather version, they also come in suede as well. There are so many different colors. You are literally spoiled for choice. Now I have the extra white and black 
black version just because I feel like they're the most classic. And with them being classic, I think that that just makes them incredibly versatile and wearable. They're the sort of trainers that will go with absolutely everything in your wardrobe, which is precisely what you want when they cost 115 pounds. And I know that is very pricey for trainers. However, what we kind of have to remember with Vasia is that you are paying for a sustainable option and you're not paying for the fact that it's cool to be sustainable. Amazonian rubber, for example, costs twice the price of crude oil, which is what's used to make rubber on all of the other styles of trainers from Nike, Adidas, New Balance, etc. So you are paying for that sustainable option and for a more ethical shoe. Now there are 125 euros directly on the Vasia site. I admittedly, out of all of the nine pairs that I have, have never ever purchased a single pair directly from the Vasia site. And that's purely just because, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, Vasia stockists, there are so many of them. For me, over here in London, I can get them in Selfridges, I can get them in Arquette, I can order them online from net a or Matches, and it just saves them coming from a warehouse all the way over in France. So I personally, cannot testify to the Vasia service. So I just kind of want to ask you guys a favor. If anyone's ordered directly from the Vasia site, leave us your comments down below. Let us know about their service, if you've had any issues, if you want to praise them for something, because at the end of the day, I just want these videos to be useful. And I like you guys to make sure that you utilize the comments to add in your two pence as well. Now, sizing. Sizing is a little bit tricky for me with the V10s, the V10s in particular, rather than any of the other styles, because I'm a half size. And for anyone else out there who's a half size, you'll know how tricky it is when buying shoes when they don't come in half sizes. Vasia does only come in whole sizes. Now they do offer men's and they also offer kids, which is great but there's no half sizes, which I suppose you could say is sustainable, but it's a bit of a bugger when you're a size Euro 40.5 like me. So this pair that I have here, these are my very first original pair of ages that I ever ordered. I ordered them from net porte online and um, I got these in a size 40. When they arrived, I tried them on, a little bit snug, so I went into Arquette in Blue Water and I tried on the 41 and they were massive. So I was like, hmm. So I decided to keep the 40s. I stretched them a little bit with shoe stretchers, which I'm sure is probably something Vasia would not recommend, but for me, it did actually work. And if anyone is interested in knowing about the shoe stretchers and the products that I use, I'll link everything down below in the description box for you. So yes, I got them in the 40, a bit snug. Now I've worn these all throughout the summer and they've been great, but I've worn them with nothing more than a very thin cotton sort of no-show trainer sock, and that's been fine. Come winter, I've gone to putting on some of my thicker socks, and these are now too small. So what I would say in terms of sizing is if you're a full size, like a normal whole size, just go with your normal regular size. If you're a half size like me, if possible, go to a store or if you can, order two pairs, the size above and the size below, just so that you can try both on for size. Anyone that watches me over on Instagram on my stories will know that I have recently bought these in a size 41 and those are going to be my winter vasias. And I've padded them out with a thick sheepskin insole so that they're nice and toasty and warm for winter. And I can wear those with thicker socks as well. Now on to the most important factor for any pair of trainers, to be honest with you, and that is comfort. And this is probably one of the most frequently asked questions I get, especially whenever I post these in an outfit over on Instagram. Are they comfortable? Well, the very honest answer is, when you get them fresh and new, actually, no, then they're, they're not particularly comfortable. This leather is quite stiff. And actually, I was in Selfridges the other day and the girl said to me that they've changed the leather on the V10s. But then I went round several shops and none of them had this new softer leather. So I'm not sure if that was just a bit of sales technique. I might actually ask Vasia myself and see if they can confirm whether they've used a better leather on these. Because one of the other styles that I have coming up have a way better leather than these do. But anyway, the issue with the V10s is actually the tongue. So as you can see, and you'll probably be able to see this in the cutaways as well, the tongue is 
quite long. And that unfortunately does cause it to cut or to rub and cause a bit of discomfort into sort of the front area of your ankle. Now this is only for like the first few wears and I'd imagine it probably varies from person to person, but if you're not wearing socks that kind of come up above your ankle, that can cause a bit of discomfort. So I have a couple of tips to combat that because once these are broken in, they are delightful. They are very comfortable shoes and I've seen a good few people wearing properly knackered out pairs of V10s. So it just does go to show that they are a really comfortable pair of trainers. But my tips for kind of combating this tongue issue are Vaseline or a blister stick whilst you're breaking them in, just use that around that sort of top area where this would cause any friction, just to give a bit of a lubrication so that it doesn't cause any blisters or rubs or cuts. Second tip, and I haven't actually tried this, but many of you guys have. So again, if you have, please let us know how you got on with this down in the comment section below. But it would be to cut the tongue. The tongue is actually just quite thin. It's quite thin and it would very easily cut. So a lot of people have said that they've just cut it down to size. I don't know, couldn't comment on that. Personally, I've just gone with the breaking them in technique. And then my third tip is to break them in before you leave the house. So what I do is wear them with a thick-ish sock and I'll usually wear them if I'm doing something active around the house like hoovering because it causes you to move and you're in all sorts of positions and all that kind of thing. So it does actually force the shoe to kind of soften in the areas where you would naturally be walking around in them. Now, if the leather style don't quite tickle your fancy, I have these. These are also V10s, but these are the suede and mesh variety. Now this mesh is actually made from recycled plastic bottles and per pair of mesh Veja V10s, it takes three plastic bottles to create all of this mesh that you see. And actually this is a smart fabric because it's made out of those plastic bottles. It is not only breathable because of the technology that they've done to create the weaving, it's also water repellent which is fabulous. Now these ones in comparison to the leather V10s, they don't particularly feel lighter and that's just due to this chunky rubber sole, but they are a little bit more comfortable because they're not made of the stiff leather. They still have the stiff leather tongue, so that does still need a bit of breaking in or use some of my other tips if you wanna cut it or use a bit of Vaseline. But around this area here, it definitely is more comfortable because this is made of the suede and mesh. And then all of this suede paneling that you can see here in the light gray is genuine suede. So Unfortunately, these are not a vegan option, but there are lots of other vegan options for Veja, which I have some coming up, spoiler alert. Now, in terms of size, I also have these in a 41. I just decided after I'd kind of learnt my lesson from the leather V10s, I thought I would just go straight for the 41 because they don't involve using shoe stretchers and actually it's quite easy to pad out a little bit of a half size in a shoe. So I have those in a 41. Size-wise, again, same as the leather version. Right, now I'm gonna stay with the leather category, but I'm gonna move on to the next style, which is the Campo. Now, these are a relatively new person purchase for me. I haven't had these very long. I've only worn them once or twice. Um, and these are actually one of the newer styles from Veja. These are made from chrome-free leather and vegan suede. So this little section on the back here with the Veja logo, that is vegan suede. And also these Vs are also vegan suede. So this is just some of the new technology and the new fabrics that Veja have been working on. So I'd like to see perhaps the mesh and suede version of the V10s perhaps done in the vegan suede so that they could be a fully vegan option as well. If they don't already exist, I should probably check that out. They might already exist. So in terms of style, these are slightly lower cut than the V10s. These are very similar. If I had to kind of compare them to any other trainer style, these are very similar to a Stan Smith. Now, when I tried these on, I felt that they were immediately more comfortable than a V10. So if I were to recommend one of the leather styles to you guys, 
it would definitely, definitely be the Campos. Number one, and I hope you can see this, I'm gonna show you over here on this camera, they have a bit of foam padding in the tongue, and I just find that this leather, as I was discussing earlier, is so much softer, and it's actually got a little bit more texture to it than on the V10. So this, perhaps, is the new leather that the girl in Selfridges was referring to. Size-wise, I feel like these come up a little bit smaller than the V10s, so I tried on a 41 in these, and I immediately knew that that was a perfect size for me. I've got a little bit of room in there but I would say if you're a half size in these you'd probably just be safe to go up to the nearest full size and these ones are a little bit cheaper than the V10s. These are £105 or €115 Euros if you are buying them directly off the Vasia site. Right now moving on to some of the canvas styles. So my first ones are the Waters. These are made from organic cotton and again the same Amazonian rubber in the soles. A little fun fact for you guys, water is cotton in Japanese. There you go, every day's a school day. And these are essentially the Vasia version of a Converse. However, I personally would say they're not as narrow fitting as a Converse. So if you've tried Converse and you just feel like they're a little bit narrow for you, perhaps give the waters a try because I find them really, really comfortable. Now these are actually the cheapest option of Vasia's available at the moment, at the time of making this video. These are 75 pounds and I actually have two pairs. I have these ones with the sort of creamy coloured V and these with the, what is that, like burgundy dark red V. Um, and I actually took, I bought these, some of you might remember me talking about these, but I bought these for a trip to Japan that me and Simon went on in spring. So we spent nine days in Japan. We did a lot of walking. I think we averaged like 40 miles on that trip. And these are what took me through. I think I wore these for maybe one day, but I just kind of fell in love with this really basic colorway. And they were great. The only downside of comfort for these is that like a Converse, they don't have any arch support in the footbed. So there's, there's a little bit more than a Converse. They're not completely flat, but it's not like you would get in a running shoe, for example. So if you wanted to perhaps size up in these and pop an insole in so that you get that arch support, if you're gonna be doing lots of walking, then obviously that could be an option. But otherwise, if you're used to Converse, these essentially just feel exactly Exactly the same. Now another good point about the Waters is that they are completely vegan. So as I just mentioned, this is organic cotton. This, the V here is actually rubber, so I know it might look a bit like leather or faux leather. They should don't use faux leather, um, but this is actually rubber, so it's kind of a similar fabric to what they use, or similar rubber to what they use in the soles. And yeah, actually the Waters, I love them. These have really been through the mill, I'm sure if you can see on the side camera they're a bit grubby inside but for anyone that's interested in a eco-friendly way to clean your canvas trainers white trainers in particular it kind of also covers white leather trainers as well there is a video over on my instagram on my igtv where i give you a little tutorial of how to bring these back to life and it was actually these trainers that i cleaned in that video right my second style of canvas vasias that i have are the no um, now, admittedly, I actually prefer the Waters to these, but I wanted to try these out. Um, these were actually kindly gifted to me from net a -Porter when they launched their Net Sustain collection and section on their website over the summer. Um, and I wanted to also try out one of the darker kind of styles because I'm a big fan of a black converse. So I wanted to try these out. Um, but as I just said, in terms of style, I do actually prefer the Waters. So if I just hold the two up as a comparison for you here, you can see that the main kind of difference is, is in the toe cap. So these ones have this also sort of very sharply cut toe cap. These ones, it's a bit more of like a horseshoe style. The Novas also have a slightly different sole. So if I spin them around here, you can see that it's more of like a sort of wave from the side profile they're like a zigzaggy whereas this one is just like your regular sort of gummy sole i wouldn't have said either of them have particularly better grip again both very sort of similar to any kind of basic trainer you would get like this 
Um, but the Novas, they are five pounds more expensive than the Waters, so they are 80 pounds. I'm not really sure why that is, potentially because of the sole. Um, and the Vs on these, rather than being the Amazonian rubber, they are silk screen printed on. So by no means should you put these, but this just goes for any kind of trainers. Please don't put your trainers in the wash go watch my IGTV tutorial because if you put these trainers in the wash, this will come off and it will be an absolute travesty when paying 80 pounds for a pair of trainers. Size wise, again, I've gone for these in a 41. So I would say if you're a full size, stay true to your normal size. If you're a half size, you probably could size up. I haven't got a great deal of spare room in these, but I definitely could wear them with a thicker sock and or an insole. And lastly, for comfort factor, I'd say they're pretty much the same as the Waters. Again, not completely flat inside. They do have a tiny, tiny bit of arch support, but in comparison to something like a running shoe, probably not as comfortable. Now, speaking of running shoes, ta-da! These are the SDUs. Now, these are one of, I think, four, maybe even five styles of running shoe that Vasia have on offer. Um, I'd just like to add, I don't actually use these for running. I just use them as a normal trainer. And actually these are incredibly practical because they are so lightweight, incredibly lightweight, because of course they're running shoes. So that's what most running shoes are designed to be. The sole is a lot more foamy than the V10s and some of the other styles. It's not as chunky, which does obviously make them very lightweight. These ones in particular are made from mesh and suede. Now, just before you all start complaining in the comments, unfortunately, yes, this particular colorway, which I think was called Nautico and white. So it's basically like a nautical style. It's navy and white. These have sold out everywhere. Veja very kindly gifted these to me earlier on this year just to thank me for my support of their brand. Um, I don't work with Veja on any paid sponsorships or anything like that. I just genuinely have an appreciation for their brand. So this was a really nice little gift and I suppose their way of saying thank you for just supporting them as a brand. And they've got a really cool sole, again, for the purpose of running, which is probably completely wasted on me because I don't run in them. Um, but these, I would say, are the perfect kind of shoes for if you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. So these actually would have been great in Japan, but for kind of city breaks, you know, when you're really doing a lot of long, long, long miles, just trudging around. If you're going to a theme park, like normally when we go to Disney, we average about like 10 to 15 miles because it's a lot of walking this kind of shoe would be perfect. They don't need any breaking in. They're comfortable from the first wear. The tongue is actually completely different to the tongue that you get in the V10s. This is actually made of like a foam, which is really nice because it doesn't dig in at all. And again, I suppose because they're a running shoe, they've had to make them with comfort as the first sort of factor in mind. These ones actually do have arch support inside, but the footbed admittedly is not particularly padded. However, the footbed does come out. So if you wanted to pop in one of your own kind of more comfortable cushioned or padded insoles, then that is by all means something that you could do and something you have the option of with these. Now, this particular style is the mesh, which again is made from recycled plastic bottles and again is breathable and water resistant. I was gonna say waterproof, water resistant. However, these do also come in some leather options. So if you're a vegan or it's really important for you to have a vegan style, just make sure that you check because it's not just the SDU style in particular that is one of the vegan ranges. So they do come in other fabrics. So just check that in the description of whichever pair you choose to buy. Right, now on to my last pair, which are probably the most extravagant. These are the V-Nets, which were created as part of a designer collaboration with Rick Owens. So they do carry a little bit of a hefty price tag. These are £230. <laughs> and they are... Mm, they're so good. They're so good. In terms of like comfort factor, these would definitely come top of 
all of my Veja collection, 110% they would be top of comfort. Now, £230 I know is a lot to spend on trainers. It's an insane amount, but I suppose they are a designer shoe. So not dissimilar to, you know, your likes of Gucci and Balenciaga. I mean, those are like £600 plus, but they're sustainable, yes because they are vasures. So once more, this knitted fabric here is made from recycled plastic bottles. Whoop! And we've got that Amazonian rubber down in the sole as well. But these are another lightweight option because again, they are a running shoe. But for me, these are far too pretty to be a running shoe. <laughs> They're too beautiful. Now they come in three different colors. This color that I have is called Butter. It's kind of like an off-white cream. And then they also come in like a taupey color and a black. I know I haven't gone for particularly the, the most uh, practical colorway, but I love them so much. I just think aesthetically they look beautiful. So these are also another one of the vegan styles. So this V here, which often you'll find on some of the styles is made out of leather. This is actually the same Amazonian rubber as what's in the sole and it's black on this side, just as a little design point and then sort of a silvery gray on this side. Um, now, I know I've talked about comfort as a massive pro, and it is very much with these, but there's one little con that comes as a side note, and that unfortunately is that although they're incredibly breathable, which is great if you're a runner, I'm just gonna show you on this camera here, because when this all stretches, you can kind of see like my fingers coming through there. It does make them really breathable, which if you're running is an absolute bonus, but in colder weather, it does make them not a super warm shoe choice. So I'm sure there's not many people out there that wear trainers in the snow, for example, but if you do live in like a much cooler country that gets properly chilly in winter, these might not be the best option. Spring, summer, autumn, yes, all the way, definitely a wise, wise purchase if you can bring yourself to splurge 230 pounds. Right, there we go. So you've seen all nine pairs of my Vasia collection. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I very seriously doubt my collection is gonna stop at nine pairs. I have a feeling it's gonna to continue to grow. And as and when I buy any of the newer styles, so like the s -blars, currently got my eye on the Condors, which are Vasia's newest running style, they look Mm, so good and I will actually use them for running once I'm finished with the physiotherapy on my ankle again London Marathon I will let you guys know how I get along with any new styles that I purchase and if any of you guys have got any of those styles do let us know how you're getting on with them pros cons whatever any tips that you've got for any rubbing or anything like that down in the comments section below I would like to thank you all once again for coming to join me on this very fine Sunday and sitting here and listening to me waffle on about trainers <laughs> thank you as always and I will catch you next week bye